operation on large numbers addition of large numbers i wonder how the addition goes on in large numbers which are more than lakh or crore it's very easy let me explain it to you with the following example for example add 35 lakh 7469 and 66 lakh 41007 arrange the given numbers in columns ones under ones tens under tens hundreds under hundreds and so on first add the ones 9 plus 7 is equal to 16 write 6 under ones column and carry 1 to the next column next add the tens 1 carried over plus 6 plus 0 is equal to 7 write 7 under tens column next add the hundreds 4 plus 0 is equal to 4 write 4 under hundreds column next add the thousand 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 write 8 under thousands column next add the 10000 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 write 4 under 10000s column next add the lakh 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 write 1 under 1 lakh and carry 1 under 10 lakh column next add the 10 lakh 1 carried over Plus three plus six is equal to ten. Write zero under ten lakhs column and one in next column. Thus, the sum of the given number is one crore, one lakh forty-eight thousand four hundred seventy-six. Subtraction of large numbers. Now, can you explain me how we can perform subtraction in large numbers? Sure, I'll try. For example, subtract twenty-four lakh seventy-eight thousand six hundred fifty-two from eighty-three lakh sixty-four thousand five hundred seventy-nine. Arrange the given numbers in columns: ones under ones, tens under tens, hundreds under hundreds, and so on. Minute on the top and subtract under it. Beginning with the ones, we go on subtracting. column wise borrowing if necessary from the next column to the left multiplication of large numbers today we will learn about multiplication of large numbers as we know multiplication is the short way to do repeated addition the number by which any number is multiplied is known as the multiplier and the number which is to be multiplied is known as the multiplicand The result of the multiplication is known as the product. For example, multiply seven hundred fifty-four by eight. Here, seven hundred fifty-four is the multiplicand, eight is the multiplier, and six thousand thirty-two is the product. Hey, did you know? Learning properties makes multiplication easy. Now I'll explain you all seven properties of multiplication one by one. Properties of multiplication. The product of two whole numbers is a whole number. For example, seven multiplied by five is equal to thirty-five. Closure property. The product of two or three numbers does not change while the order of the numbers multiplied is changed. For example, nine multiplied by five is equal to five multiplied by nine. Commutative property. Product of fifteen and sixteen multiplying by seventeen is equal to fifteen multiplied by the product of sixteen and seventeen. Associative property: the product of one and any number is the number itself. For example, one hundred seventy-five multiplied by one is equal to one hundred seventy-five. The product of zero and any number is zero. For example. Six hundred fifty-four multiplying by zero is equal to zero. Distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction. For example, sum of eighteen and fifteen multiplied by five is equal to sum of product of eighteen into five plus fifteen into five, and difference of eighteen minus fifteen into five is equal to difference of product of eighteen into five and fifteen into five.
When the multiplier is 10, 100, 1000 or 10,000 etc., the product has zeros on the right side of the number being multiplied as the multiplier. For example, 75 into 10 is equal to 750. 234 into 100 is equal to 23,400. 1,692 into 1,000 is equal to 16,92,000. To multiply a number by 2,000, 3,000 or 4,000 and so on, we multiply the number by the digit in the thousands place of the multiplier and write three zeros on the right of the product. For example, 735 into 6,000 is equal to 735 into 6 into 1000 is equal to 4410 into 1000 is equal to 44,10,000. 2035 into 15,000 is equal to 2035 into 15 into 1000 is equal to 30,525 into 1000 is equal to 3 crore 5 lakh 25,000. Didi, did you know how to multiply four-digit numbers? Yes. Do you know that? Yes. Good. Then tell me. I will check whether you are correct or not. Multiplication by four-digit numbers. For example, 72,359 into 3,489. 72,359 multiplied by 9. 72,359 multiplied by 8. 72,359 multiplied by 400. 72,359 multiplied by 3,000. 72,359 multiplied by 3,489. Division of large numbers. Now we are going to learn about division of large numbers. So students, let us recall what we already know about division. Division is repeated subtraction. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Repeated subtraction. 25 minus 5 is equal to 20. 20 minus 5 is equal to 15. 15 minus 5 is equal to 10. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Division is the inverse of multiplication. 12 multiplied by 10 is equal to 120. 120 divided by 10 is equal to 12. 120 divided by 12 is equal to 10. Relation between dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder is Dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. Just like in case multiplication, division also becomes easier by learning properties of division. Properties of division If we divide a number by 1, the quotient is the number itself. Example, 7542 divided by 1 is equal to 7542. If we divide a number by the number itself, the quotient is 1. Example, 275 divided by 275 is equal to 1. Division of a number by 0 is meaningless. Example, 35 divided by 0 is equal to no meaning. 65 divided by 0 is equal to no meaning. 0 divided by a number gives 0 as the quotient. Division by 10, 100 and 1000. Division by 10, 100 and 1000 are very similar and easy. But I don't know how to do it. Do you know? Yes, I do. Let me explain it to you. When a number is divided by 10, the digit in the ones place is the remainder. Example, 867 divided by 10, quotient is equal to 86 and remainder is equal to 7. When a number is divided by 100, the number formed by the tens and ones place is the remainder. Example, 2764 divided by 100, quotient is equal to 27 and remainder is equal to 64. When a number is divided by 1000, the number formed by the digits in the hundreds, tens and ones place is the remainder. 
Example: 7456 divided by 1000. Quotient is equal to 7 and remainder is equal to 456. Division by large numbers. How can we perform division by large numbers? It's very easy. Here is an example to explain it. Divide 478,234 by 234. Quotient is equal to 2043. Remainder is equal to 172. We can also check our answer. Checking. As we know dividend is equal to quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder. 4,78,234 is equal to 2,043 multiplied by 234 plus 172 is equal to 4,78,062 plus 172 is equal to 4,78,234. Simplification We will learn simplification now. So far, we have been working with the four fundamental operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division separately. But sometimes we have to work out two or more than two of these operations in the same sum to get the answer. This is called simplification. We perform the operations in the following order. Division, then multiplication, then addition and then subtraction. To remember quickly, DMAS, dear mother and sister. Example 1. Simplify. 16 plus 12 divided by 4 multiplied by 5 minus 2. 16 plus 12 divided by 4 multiplied by 5 minus 2, D, is equal to 16 plus 3 multiplied by 5 minus 2, M, is equal to 16 plus 15 minus 2, A, is equal to 31 minus 2 s is equal to 29 example 2 simplify 15 plus 24 divided by 3 minus 1 multiplied by 6 15 plus 24 divided by 3 minus 1 multiplied by 6 d is equal to 15 plus 8 minus 1 multiplied by 6 m is equal to 15 plus 8 minus 6 a is equal to 23 minus 6 s is equal to 17 now we will learn simplification when brackets are present when brackets are present in a simplification sum we proceed in the following order first do the operation within the first bracket that is within the bracket then do the operation within the second bracket that is within the bracket Simplify the rest in the order ODMAS, that is of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. The order of simplification along with brackets we use BODMAS, where B stands for bracket. Example 1. Simplify. 30 minus bracket 12 minus 6 divided by 3 bracket close is equal to 30 minus bracket 12 minus 2 bracket close is equal to 30 minus 10 is equal to 20. Example 2. Simplify. 60 minus big bracket 46 minus curly bracket 14 divided by simple bracket 8 minus 1 simple bracket close curly bracket close big bracket close is equal to 60 minus big bracket 46 minus curly bracket 14 divided by 7 curly bracket close big bracket close is equal to 60 minus big bracket open 46 minus 2 big bracket close is equal to 60 minus 44 is equal to 16. Example 3. Simplifying 90 minus big bracket open 90 minus curly bracket open 45 plus simple bracket open 45 divided by 15 simple bracket close curly bracket close big bracket close is equal to 90 minus big bracket open 90 minus curly bracket open 45 plus 3 curly bracket close big bracket close is equal to 90 minus big bracket open 90 minus 48 big bracket close is equal to 90 minus 42 is equal to 48.